For this section, we're going to take a look at limits at infinity. So what that means is we're going to look for either limits where the x value is going to go to infinity or negative infinity, or the answer that you get for these may go to infinity or negative infinity. For this problem, we're looking at a table that's been provided for this function f of x equals 5 over x plus 3, and we're going to use this in order to answer these questions. Let's take a look at what's happening. So negative 3 is right here, and of course if I put negative 3 in there directly, I'm going to get 0 on the bottom, and no matter what I'm dividing by 0, and so we know that's going to be undefined. However, if we're approaching it from the left and from the right, we do have some values it's going to be approaching. Let's first look at this. We're going to look at the numbers to the left of negative 3. That means these are the numbers that are slightly less than negative 3. So we're kind of do, looking at this. The limit as x approaches negative 3 from the negative side. Okay. We notice that these numbers are getting farther and farther away from 0. So in fact, we're getting larger and larger negative numbers in a way here. So negative 10, negative 50, negative 500, negative 5,000. So what's happening is as I add more zeros inside, that's going to add more zeros down here. So if I have a whole bunch of zeros in a 1, that means I'll get a whole bunch of zeros here. What's happening is that value is going to be approaching negative infinity. And that's what I'm going to put here for my answer. I see the trend. I see they're getting larger negative numbers there. So it's going to go to uh, negative infinity. Let's look at this one, negative 3 from the positive side. From the positive side, that means you're looking for values that are just slightly larger than negative 3. That would be these here. We're closer to 0, so that's why these numbers here would be larger. And again, we see the same trend. As we get closer and closer to negative 3 coming in from the right-hand side, these numbers are getting progressively bigger. 50, 500, 5,000. Again, as you add more 9s, that's just going to add more zeros in the end. So we can say from the table that this is going to be going to positive infinity. Now let's take a look at the limit as you approach negative 3. Now we talked about this before in a previous section that in order for a limit to exist, the left and right hand side limits must approach the same number. Well, this one approaches negative infinity, this one approaches positive infinity, they're approaching two different values. So because of this we have to put D and E here, that does not exist because again the left and right hand limits do not equal each other. In order for this limit to exist and equal to a number we have to have it approaching uh, the same thing on both sides. So again that's why this is going to be D, D and E.